with a a writer, an American writer, comes from the <clears throat> New England area up where where Andy came from, Henry David Thoreau, very famous American writer and one of the transcendentalists, along with Walt Whitman and a lot of amazing writers and poets, but he was quoted as saying, I believe most men live lives of quiet desperation. Quiet desperation, you know, that's an interesting combination of words, but that applies very deeply to the human condition because fear is at the base and it's really a fear of love or a fear of God, but it certainly gets projected in many, many different ways, projected out in the world as if it's something in the world, including fear of death and many other things. Fear of failure and fear of uh, abandonment, loss, rejection, you know, it comes in many, many forms, but, but yeah, I think sooner or later for everyone, you come to start to realize that what you do in this world comes from what you think. Certainly that's what Jesus teaches in the Course. What you do comes from what you think. And really all that we seem to do and all that we share and extend, yeah, we want that to come from inspiration. But we realize we have to do a lot of clearing and cleaning for that inspiration, for that flame to burn bright in a consistent way. But I think that's the power of it all, is that we all have the power of, of following our inspiration. And we we can be reminded of that by different symbols of the world, but ultimately we have to we have to really see the value of that and really see that we're going to go for that. Not live life based on fear of consequences. 